All right, Alexander, let's take a look at your paper. Uh, MLA format first. Uh, you need your last name then, page number, not reverse. Uh, everything here looks good, except I'm not sure what year this is. It's, it's an interesting date. You got some spacious issues here. Uh, there's a, a little link or a little tab you can uh, click on for spacing that eliminates spacing before your before and after your uh, line here. So you have to click on that because you got too much space in there. So you start off with a statistic, uh, which is fine. You got a comma splice here that you need to fix, and uh, which looks to be a problem of yours. You have no in-text citation. You have a works cited page, but you have no in-text citation. So this obviously should have a citation after it of where you got this information from. Then you automatically go right into your topic. Um, and it's not even, it's very jarring that you just, you know, if I just read these first two things, you know, I think, I'm not sure what this paper would be about, but all of a sudden you go right into killing your, your killing somebody to make money. You got to really introduce this topic first before you go here. I'm going to sign a murder uh, to get rich, comma, make sure you no semicolon. Um, remember, it separates two complete thoughts, right? Um, and that's this is not a separation. You're just introducing a list, which you're not really introducing a list, so you don't need a colon either. So um, no semicolon. So you have this is your main points. So your introduction is three sentences long, which, again, AJ, by this time in your life, we, we can't be having that short of paragraphs. Um, you really need to make sure that you have at least five or six really good sentences in a paragraph. Um, so you can already see that you're, you're kind of hurting yourself at this point. Make sure, dispose of the body to make sure it can't be traced to you. And... Blah, blah, blah. Anyways, you're missing a thesis statement. You still don't have a thesis statement, which is your message statement. You really don't set up the topic that well. You really don't get into the topic that well. Um, so you got a lot of work to do to get that introduction better. All right, so the first area is scouting, weak topic sentence. And you pretty much follow a pattern of you, here's what you should do, but there's no, like, there's no, you know, intense look at it you just say a bunch of stuff don't pay with cash don't you should dress appropriately don't act suspicious um, this one you actually do you do extend a little bit on to here so that's not bad um, there's not a huge voice in here either I don't see any unique voice you're just kind of saying statistics and so on and so forth careful when you start off with adverbs um, when deciding on an area, comma, if there is any corrupt officials, comma, um, um, I, do, I guess, I, I, sorry, let me back up, I guess you do extend on this a little bit, but there's no uniqueness to it, um, and that's what I'm more interested in, there's no, uh, you know, outside source either, uh, that you want to work on, uh, you do have a comma splice in here as well, um, right here. So work on comma splices. You do have a transition. It's it's weak. Next comma, you will learn how to commit the murder with no fail. So a little bit more. Uh, once you've done this, now you can do this. That sort of format is what I want you to follow. All right, the second, not most hardest, the second hardest step to do. Which one was the first one? Is this? It's the scouting part or the dispose I don't know. Not really clear why this is the second most. I know it's the second body paragraph, but no one here did you say this is the hardest part. Um, again, when you start with your adverb phrases, when you commit any murder, comma, here's a comma splice. You even subconsciously knew it was a comma splice because you capitalized the T after the comma, which you never do anyway. So... Um, do that. Wear clothing that can be burned and a hat. So give me some, you know, ideas for that. Uh, you know, comma. That, so you got some comma problems. Just remember, comma conjunction only when you have two complete sentences on either side. And for being the you know one of the more more harder parts, look at how short this paragraph is. Basically, wear gloves. Wear clothes that can be burned. Have a silent weapon. Um. 
needs to be uncommon but not too uncommon and then you're done like that's not a very detailed step now I know this can get kind of uh, morbid I guess <laughs> but I would like to see some uniqueness to this um, you know maybe even uh, an, uh, an example of a silent weapon that's common but not too uncommon uh, that you could use again you have a transition but it's weak you know you have a topic sentence but it's weak so we really need to work on that there's no see this is where I think outside sources would really help your paper Alexander you know comment on a couple people that have used weapons and how they were common but uncommon and you know never never found again um, that would be you know how outside sources could really help your paper uh, be unique and original all right one thing I want to bring up before we get into the bulk of this is you finally talk about hacking bank accounts um, or safes but yet that was part of your topic sentence right here so I think that should move up and of course I would want you to um, go into more depth with that because it's a pretty short point alright disposing the body is an optional step but should be taken so is it really optional if you should take it um, and, and of course your paper is about the steps you need to take in order to do this so um, make sure that you you know, I would include that as not optional. It's, it's a, an essential step uh, that will involve cleaning the murder scene because this sentence doesn't make sense. But it should be taken, comma, will involve cleaning the murder scene. So this sentence doesn't make sense. Um, the other thing that I want you to keep in mind, which is why this is you're struggling with this paper a little bit, is the um, because you don't have a thesis statement, All you're do I don't see any connection to being rich and famous yet. Um, the rich part, I, I guess we're going to get to because of hacking into the bank accounts. But even then, I don't think you do a great job of bringing that up um, and how this is going to make you rich and famous. So I think you really lack that focus that's hurting your paper. I'm assuming this is from an outside source, but you didn't cite it, so this is plagiarism. Um, this is, I don't know if it's supposed to be funny, but it's kind of, to me it's kind of funny. Uh, an area that has been progressing into a no-stitch culture zone. So I'm assuming like the ghetto, like nobody snitches on you in the ghetto. I don't know. Again, it kind of adds some, some voice to you, but I'm not exactly sure what it means. Dispose of the body, comma, such as no semicolon. You don't use semicolons to introduce lists, okay? Um, and when you have such as. So if you said, here's, here's your lesson. If you said there are many ways to dispose of the body, then put a colon and then had the list that would be correct the way that you have it when you set it up with such as you don't need any punctuation right here so no semicolon no colon you would have that but if you're gonna do that there are many ways to dispose of the body colon and then the list you'd be fine all right so you give some options uh, but the main one is this here's a run-on sentence as the water uses water and alkali are heated up to three so this is another run-on sentence spell out two to three hours should be spelled out uh, while this is happening you can use the time to hack into the bank accounts how um, or you can break the safes you should have stolen from the dead guy's house so you got a punctuation here um, but again I'm not sure how this is making you rich or famous uh, when the process is done, comma, go to the next step. So again, work on that. All right, so the final step, I'm not sure why it's italicized, but don't watch TV news or go on any social media sources. Again, how is this making you rich or famous? I guess it's making you infamous because apparently your murder is going to be so fantastical that it's going to be all over the news. Um, so think about, I mean, figure out, I'm not sure why that again is going to make you famous. You haven't done anything other than kill a guy, um, and it's not even even saves a rich guy. Who knows? Uh, so it's basically so you won't regret killing the person and turning you in. So who would turn you in? So I'm not sure what that means. Here's a comma splice. If anything, you need to feel no remorse. So you don't regret anything, which is fine. But again. Notice how many times you use the word anything, um, 
this could be annoying uh, there's no there's no great word choice there's no great um, voice in here at all and besides I mean I'll count the run on sentence here one two three four sentences in a paragraph look how short this is Alexander um, you need to do way more okay your conclusion repeat your thesis statement which you didn't have um, is this a made-up statistic uh, I'm assuming I don't know um, maybe I'll skip some now why would you say you might be able to skip some and then after that say well if you do you're gonna get caught and you won't accomplish anything so don't even mention that uh, you gotta write out the numbers three and four um, will make you fail comma because you need to okay remember every main point gets a sentence of summary and then you need to end on a clincher of some sort some kind of thing to ease your way out you use statistics at the beginning maybe you can refer back to those statistics uh, this will be single quotes remember when you, single quotes in front and uh, inside of double quotes I mean these are great sources I just wish you actually would have used these at some point in your so I know where where you cited these so and obviously we're way short of three pages which I think you got plenty of room to improve so uh, you got plenty of uh, uh, information to add all right keep working Alexander I can't wait to see a rewrite uh, I think you could have a really good topic it's just needs some work